In this episode of Great, we have built a villager breeder to fill our villager trading hall and we have constructed a new building for our underside factory. And if you like this series, make sure to hit subscribe and like, it really helps me a lot. And it's free. Let's go. In the last episode, we have built this. And also, we have crafted this to provide power for our refined storage unit. But in today's video, I have a plan. But before that, as you can see, in between episodes, I have successfully built a road. Whoops, wait. As you can see right here, I built a road for our upcoming factory district. Yeah, I'm gonna call this the factory district. And as you can see, I have framed the buildings that we're gonna build in the future and I have signs for that. Another factory or maybe an andesite farm, I don't know just yet. This is, and this is gonna be a super smelter and more factory. This, I don't know. And I need your opinion on that and what we're gonna build. But for now, this is my super smelter which has completely gone wrong. Oh, my bad. In today's episode, we're gonna be building a villager trading hall. I'm gonna put it right here on top of the barn. As you can see, I have floored the upstairs and the downstairs area. Don't mind that. I'm gonna cover that up. As you can see, I have floored this and I'm planning to put villagers right here against the wall and their professions. And that's what we're gonna do. As you can see here, there's a village right here that we're gonna take villagers from and we have a waystone right there. So let's go fetch some villagers. Just like that, we have a villager. And I have to travel all the way to our base, which is 700 miles away. We have arrived. You just sit still look pretty there. I know you don't have any professions, but you can stay here. I said stay! Okay. Stay there for now. Okay, what I'm planning is to put the lectern right there. In case the villager like so. And you, Liana, can come with me. Just like that. No, not project protection. Come on, dude. As you can see, I have gathered two villagers. And I'm gonna make... Yes. And I'm gonna make myself a villager breeder right now. Because I don't want to go back and forth, back and forth, and demolish their population. Yes. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'll go back. And I'll update you guys when I have finished the villager breeder farm. I successfully built a villager breeder. Look at this. Yeah, babies. How cute. So I'm gonna let this two breed and I'll be back with you guys if I have enough villagers for the trading hall. So it's been a couple of hours since you saw the last clip. For those couple of hours, I have silk touch, mending, protection, and aim tag. Fortune tree, feather falling four, efficiency five, and looting tree. And these two are in the process of getting and breaking, but I've been at this for a couple of hours now and still no I'm breaking. Come on, give me unbreaking. As you can see, I'm freaking done. I don't want to keep doing this and I have this efficiency and sharpness. And you're gonna be leveled up because I can't level you up because you are locked right now. And as you saw in the last clip, this villager breeder is doing just fine. I don't want that to be the whole episode of me breeding and getting some books from villagers. What I want to do now is build me a super smelter, but not in the vanilla way. As you can see here in Create, if you put a fan in front of a lava that will cook things, for example, for example right here, I've set up some sort of a super smelter. Oh, now I just got rid of the lava. Okay, there we go, and there you go. So basically, you can put your items here and wait for them to smelt, but the thing is, this will smelt one or how many stacks you want. Basically, how many stacks you put in, that will smelt and how many stacks you want. So, let me give this a couple of seconds. I will turn into Deep Slate. And there we go, we have Deep Slate. As you can see, it's 
kind of super smelter but i want to automate this i can put items here and then expect the outcome right here but i want to do that in the form of a building i think this spot will just do will just be fine yeah and i'm gonna make me an andesite farm if you don't know basically to get andesite is flint gravel and lava crushing down with a mechanical press and a basin basically you need a cobble generator and then something to crush it like a mill or a crushing wheels and basically a f source of lava source yeah a basic example is my andesite alifime which i which i parted off because it's causing my game so much lag so basically cobblestone generator is right here at the top it's getting milled down to right here is getting wash oh yeah forgot the part you need you need something to wash it that is getting washed here and basically go to here to form andesite basically we need to recreate the system but it needs just andesite so i'm gonna do that here in this lot so before that i want to enchant my tools because it's gonna take me a long time to destroy dirt and things yeah things what i want to get is some silk touch let me get books and emeralds real quick go we have books i want silk touch on my shovel um and my pickaxe then mending and all of my things basically armor tools so i need three that's seven i need seven mending books just like that brought four for my armor and i'm out of emeralds this one two three and last number four better falling for my boots i'm out of emerald again feather falling for my boots and then efficiency for all my tools need three efficiency books so i want to make myself some brand new tools Look at me i'm flashing now on to the building this is the finished building let me give you a tour so this is the outside of the building i built it with granite with rounded tiny and cracked and then for the windows i did tilted block stain and some square and what i like about this building is the roof like there's a glass roof on this thing can see true and this is the back part of the building like it's like a normal it's like a normal type of building but i have i have detailed it with frames lab edge as you can see it's like a girder girder then we have some i don't know some pillars but it looks cool and if you go inside dude this looks beautiful with the cinematic cam like damn doesn't look that awesome and from here we do a second floor where all maybe i should put the super smelter here or the andesite farm here and then the collection area here that would be cool i think then a tank can go up there in the roof and i'll just love the roof as you can see oh. so basically that's the build completed next we're gonna make an andesite machine so i already told you how to make andesite and now we're gonna build it let's go so i have finished the andesite farm so let me show you when you come through here to this door as you can see this is the machine that's giving me and side so i just finished it as you can see there's a lot of things going on and let me take off my chat pack and go to free cam so basically there's a cobble generator here as you can see and it's hooked up to the main power line um and then it's get crush and then drops to the shoots where there is a lot of shoots and then it's gonna go down to this mill and then the mill is gonna crush it out 
And then gravel will come down here when it's get wash. And same as here. It's gonna get wash. As you can see. And then it's gonna go through this brass funnel and this brass funnel which is currently have gravel. I don't know why it has gravel. It has filters that prevents it. Oh, it's the other way around. Wait, wait. There we go. It's working properly now. So when it get washed, I'm gonna go to this brass funnel which is preventing the gravel to enter from now. As you notice, there's three belts because there's three funnels up top. This is overkill. You can use andesite, but I prefer to use brass because I have a lot of brass. Um, this line is responsible for the gravel. As you can see, gravel will go straight through here, not getting washed and getting straight through here to this mechanical press, as you can see. And same as here. And what I love about this setup is the power is going straight through here to the tree farm. And then going straight through here and straight through here. Then hooked up to the fans. And there is a lava generator down here as you can see. There's a lot of cauldrons and there's a lot of dripstone. So basically this is the setup. As you can see gravel, all the gravel that is not used right here. So getting straight through here is getting dumped to here, as you can see. Where in the future, or in the next episode, there's gonna be a line here and there's gonna be a line here that's gonna convert it to sand and then sand into glass. Which we need a lot of glass in the future of this series. I didn't tell you this but there is a rotational speed control right here and right there because that controls the speed of the drills because you don't want to speed up the drills that much because it will clog up your system i learned that the hard way when i'm doing the iron farm but this took maybe 30 minutes to construct or maybe less because i have to figure something out to make this work but this is gonna be it for this episode if you like this video please hit that like button and if you want some more content please hit subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of content coming in your way in the near future and that's it for me chili and i'm out